This is our family and this is our van life adventure. If you'd like to follow on with all of our adventures, don't forget to like and subscribe. Our time is running out for our adventure in the Norwegian fjords, but even after weeks here, Norway can still shock you. Holy moly! That is a glacier and a half, man. For one of our final stops, we've arrived at the beautiful Lake Fossum waterfalls. It's a beautiful day to chill out around the falls and just climb around and explore, but it's also a lot busier than what we've become accustomed to. So after soaking up the rays and enjoying the scenery, it was time for us to move on and find somewhere a little quieter to spend the evening. This is one of my favourite things about van life. You'll have your big spots that you aim to hit and your main events that you want to see. And then you'll find these lovely little surprises along the way that are just blissful. It's so simple. We're just sitting and watching a starfish wiggle around. Often these stops turn into some of our favourite memories. What could be better? An evening by the fire. We'll miss this. Unfortunately though, with the arrival of September, Norway's autumn weather is fast setting in and we are having more and more rainy days in the van. Gangnam style may be very effective at wearing out very energetic children, but it's also pretty effective at wearing out me and there's only so much of it I can keep up. Luckily, we make the most of the beautiful breaks in the rain, but the reality is we need to head south. We need to get somewhere where there's slightly more going on. And it's not just because the weather is wearing on us or that there's more to see in this beautiful country. We've got a bit of a special day coming up and we need to get some supplies sorted. So we are at this stop in a place called Axtell and it's a shopping centre. And we have got little man's birthday coming up. We have planned trying to squeeze in some shopping in Stavanger. <laughs> but I think it's going to be quite tough with trying to get sort of a good day where I'm stopping for and stealth shopping with the kids. So we've bought him some bits from this shopping centre and a wicked toy shop in here. And do you know what the best bit is? I've got a wrapping station at the shop. So I can hide them all. All the bits I've bought will stay in my head. I can hide all the bits I've bought for him. And he won't even know. It's almost all done. All sorted. What a relief. He's oblivious, just been playing in there the whole time. With that sorted, I can relax and enjoy our final stop in the beautiful and wild Norwegian fjords. Taking a moment in this beautiful spot to say goodbye to the fjords of Norway before we head off for another ferry. We have inadvertently ended up on the wrong ferry. <laughs> 
our ferry was only meant to be like 25 minutes long and take us from one little island to another little island or that's the ferry we thought we were getting on and then when we were queuing a woman came up to us and shouted scavenger at us and we were like yeah that's where we want to go because after a that's where we're going to go today. That's where we're going to end up. And that's what the road that we thought we were on was leading to. Somehow. We've, had, we've now been on this ferry for how long? We left at half 11. What time is it? Need an hour. <laughs> I think she took us to Stavanger. I think we're actually going all the way to Stavanger on this ferry. We don't know where we're going to go. Whoopsie! <laughs> Thankfully, it all worked out and we just ended up further down the line than we initially thought we would. Wondered why it cost more than all the others. We have arrived in Stavanger. Or is it Stavanger? Someone let me know. Stavanger, or Stavanger, is the fourth largest city in Norway and it's meant to be quite an artistic place. So I am looking forward to having a little day to explore it all. So we have done it. We have arrived in beautiful Stavanger. It's a gorgeous day. There's it's like one of those perfect autumn days. There's a chill in the air, but it's beautiful and sunny. And we have our by we're in Stavanger, Stavanger City Centre Square, which seems to be right next to a massive ferry port and a lovely market. And we're just going to explore the city centre a little bit. The port in Stavanger is huge and you get lots of very large cruise ships arriving, which means a lot of the market stuff and the local shops are full of touristy little things. That doesn't make it any less interesting to explore, though, and check out all the little trinkets on offer. A lot of the main roads around Stavanger are pedestrian access only, which makes it a nice and safe place to explore, but also quite pretty. There were lots of lovely looking bars and restaurants around Stavanger, which I think would probably have been better for us if we weren't there with kids. As as much as our eldest may be up for trying Vietnamese and Ethiopian food, our youngest is not quite so adventurous. To keep them happy, yep, you guessed it, we're looking for parks and playgrounds. The playgrounds are few and kind of small, but there is a beautiful park right by the port which was our favourite spot when we were there. So for Stavanger, it's a lovely town, smaller than I expected, but I would be interested in coming back just with just me and Perry next time. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Goodbye.